Hi everyone, so welcome to the final video in this YouTube for Beginners series. In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can upload your video into YouTube using all of the saved information that you've acquired from your TubeBuddy suite. So the best thing for me to do is to share my screen with you and we're gonna go straight into YouTube for this. Okay, so we're inside of YouTube and you need to upload your video into YouTube and then go through the process of uploading it before applying the TubeBuddy changes that you've done. So to upload your video, you go ahead and click the upload video button. And then you need to find the video that you want to upload from your files. So there's my video that I want to upload. So I'm gonna go ahead and click open. So this goes on inside of your YouTube account. Now, it's taken the title from the video as I've uploaded it, and it's got all my other information in there that I had as a preset inside of my YouTube channel. But what I wanna do is I want to pull in all of the information that we learned from TubeBuddy, and we, we researched in TubeBuddy with the thumbnail and all the tags and everything into this video. So to do that, what you need to do is you can do this while the video is uploading as well. So you just go ahead and click this upside down arrow here on the TubeBuddy sign. So this is where you're going to pull all of that information that we put into the TubeBuddy console into this video. So when you click that, it's going to say upload defaults. You haven't had any defaults. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on here and you're gonna choose the one that we've just saved. So we saved this, how to save your Instagram live video to IGTV in the SEO studio. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that and apply. So when I apply this, it's going to actually pull all of that information that we did, all the research, all the keyword tools that we used, all of the tags that we use, and it's going to place them into the video for us. So as you can see, all the tags have gone in already, and we go up, <clears throat> and we go right to the top, and as you can see, it's got my title in there, how to save your Instagram live video to IGTV, it's also got all my other information. So watch this video to learn how to save your Instagram live to IGTV. New update May 2020. This will help you repurpose your Instagram lives to a new audience and increase your video watch time. So it's pulled all of that information in for me. Now my defaults will show up later once I've actually clicked everything through. So we're just going to wait here and wait for it to finish uploading. So then what happens is it's also bought in your thumbnail that we created just now. So the thumbnail's there already as well. So why it's working, we can just go down and do a few other things. So your video is gonna go into your YouTube channel and you want to put it into a playlist because it makes it easier for the viewers to find the videos in playlists, but it also encourages the viewer to watch the next video in the series. So this particular one, I usually have in my Instagram updates. So you go here, and I'm gonna click done. So I've added it to that playlist. So now it's gonna go as my main videos, but it's also going to be assigned to a playlist. Then you have to have this audience area tick. So are you creating videos for children? This is a new rule that YouTube just implemented and it's all around protecting children from adverts that um, they shouldn't be seeing. So I don't, I don't, create my videos for children, I create my videos for adults. Now you can preset this in your defaults inside your settings as well. It isn't a paid promotion, I'm not being paid by IGTV to do this for them, so I'm not gonna tick that at all. And then I've got all my tags that we put in just now, so all those tags are gonna go in there and they're all there ready to go. So that's basically all you have to do. And then the next thing is language is fine, you don't need to do your recording date. If you do have subtitles, you can upload them here. However, YouTube does create the subtitles for you automatically um, if you switch them on. You want people to be able to embed it if they want to. You want people to publish to subscription feeds and notify subscribers. That's um, because I've got monetization on my account. You might not see that. And then you can decide which category you want it to go into. So mine's a how-to, so I'm going to leave it in there. But you can have lots of different categories. So you'd need to decide where you want it to go. Sometimes people use people and blogs as well, but I'm gonna keep it in how to and style for today. 
So then you go down and everything else is as it seems. So whilst YouTube is processing your video, you can move on to the next bit. You won't have monetization on yours unless you have over a thousand subscribers. If you do, then you can set the monetization up ready. And this will just set where the monetization adverts are gonna show. And then you go to the next button, which is your video elements. So this is something that you can go into once YouTube have finished processing your video. So mine's finished. So what this does is it enables you to add an end screen. Now I haven't done this in TubeBuddy yet, but you can actually apply a template that you set up in TubeBuddy. And I suggest that when we go forward using TubeBuddy that perhaps that's one of the areas that we can look at doing. For now, I haven't got one preset. So I usually go in and add my own end screen. The end screen is where you encourage people to subscribe to your channel or watch some other videos. So here you can have two videos, you can have a playlist and a subscribe or a video or a subscribe. I usually like doing the um, import your latest video plus a subscribe. So if I'm gonna go with that one, what it does is it chooses a video that it thinks is best for your viewer from your own videos, not from someone else's videos, from your own videos. So that's really cool if you want YouTube because they, they know your viewer, they know what, what your viewers are after. So they will actually choose one for them. And also the subscribe tab will come up here. So it will encourage people to subscribe as well. You can change the video by clicking on the video section and changing it to maybe the most recent video uploaded or choose a specific video. So like this particular video is part of a series of Instagram TV updates. So I could actually put this in with, put another IGTV video after this, but I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna let YouTube choose best for viewer at the moment because people who come that are interested in this particular video will also be interested in my other IGTV videos, such as the ones about starting out and things like that. So once you're happy with that, you just click save and YouTube will do that for you. Now I do have the ability to add cards to my video as well. So you can all add cards, but what the cards do is that they add like the little, hang on, they add a little ex exclamation mark up here, which encourages people to do things. So if you add a card, you can add a video or playlist, you can add a, another channel, you can run a poll, and you can also, if it's enabled for you, have a link to your website. So I do have mine enabled but i'm going to go in and do that a bit later so i will put a card in here that will perhaps link them to my website where my freebies are so they can download maybe their instagram stories planner or their igtv planner so i'm going to leave this as it is but you can add a card for people to watch another video as well and to do that you would pull this along to where you want the card to show in your video so my video is 15 minutes long so where would you want that card to show i would probably put it around this point or somewhere after they've actually got the main information because mine's a how to so i'm showing them how to save their instagram live video to their igtv so once they've sort of learned that bit a lot of people will just go away because they've come from, they get what they want and they leave but if they do hang around and watch the whole video because there are some bonuses at the end you could put this in here and get them to action it so this link here i could actually just create I can actually just put um, my website or I can put my download here. So I'm gonna come back and do that in a bit. Okay, so once you've done that, you just click um, return to YouTube Studio. And then we just need to decide when you want your video to be published. So you go ahead and click next. So now the video is completely ready to go. So we're gonna save it as if you want to save it as private or public, you can schedule it. So before you publish, check the following. So I'm gonna go ahead and click public, like so. And then you can actually go ahead and publish it right away if you want. I'm gonna schedule mine because I wanna go back in after this video and just change the card so that I can put take someone somewhere. So all you then do is you just go ahead and click publish and your video will be published to the whole um, of YouTube straight away, or you can schedule so that it actually goes out at a later date. So I know that my YouTube fans are usually on at after midday, so they're around sort of three or four 
well, best time is 6 p.m. So I could schedule this for today's date. So let's go down to today's date and I'm gonna go for 6 p.m. And I'm doing a live as well later. So that will go in well with that. So 6 p.m. here and I'm gonna click schedule. So that's gonna go into YouTube and be ready to schedule. You've got the link to share, so you can actually start using that as well. I'm just gonna stop my share now. So what we've learned is actually how to upload a video into YouTube and then pull all of the information that we've saved in our TubeBuddy app to actually create a full description title tags that's completely optimized for search and for search on YouTube and also for search in Google. You can see where it sits against the other thumbnails and you can really, really make the most of using your TubeBuddy app to create the titles and the description and the tags for your videos and then go off and create your video and then come back and pop it on. Any questions whatsoever, pop them in the comments below this video and I will answer them as soon as I can. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.